about that time, baby. Cheer, cheer. Hey, yo, Jagger. Oh, she. She. Boy, Rosa. Yes. Yes. Just a young and grinding from the basement. Whoa. Just a young and grinding from the basement. Whoa. Just a young and grinding from the basement. Yeah, we made it. Yeah, we made it. Just a young and grinding from the basement. Whoa. Just a young and grinding from the basement. Whoa. Just a young and grinding from the basement. Now we made it. Now we made it. Just a young and grinding from the basement. Took a couple L's, I had to face it If a nigga wants it, I'm gonna take it If it costs your life, I call that dedication Baby mama left, I call that motivation Real shit, she ain't shit, but real basic Saw a couple squares in my circle, had a shape shit OTC, new food, but still the same shit New gun, same clip, second grade shit Cause they show and tell, but never spray shit When I cook the fifth, I'm dumbing out Shoot at the crowd and like God sort them out. Pray a man with tips. A nigga think I'm bugging now. All my old bitches wanna get the loving now. Never miss a beat on the rebound. I'm drumming now. Thought I told you when that loop ain't beat. I never put dumbing down. Whoa. Just a young and grinding from the basement. Whoa. Just a young and grinding from the basement. Whoa. Just a young and grinding from the basement. Yeah, we made it. Yeah, we made it. Just a young and grinding from the basement. What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Truth It, and I am here with my man, Dope, and we about to get into reviewing a couple of battles for y'all. Uh, I think the title of the show is going to be called The Dreaded Truth. Not really sure about that. Not really sold on it yet, but what you guys were just listening to was Basement. That was Jagger Josh and Gutter. Song is fire. I like it. So uh, please don't come after me for no YouTube royalties if we put this on YouTube, though. All right, please don't come after me. I got I to gotta feed a family. Uh, bang. But uh, Dope, how are you doing, sir? I'm good, man. I'm good. What's up? Now, let, let's just keep this a buck here. I'm not your favorite person in the world. I, I'm, not, I'm not your favorite person in the world. But I think that when it comes to doing reviews, no one on earth would accuse you of just agreeing with me to agree with me. And, and they, we all know you're not afraid to disagree with me either when it comes oh, yeah. to reviewing these battles. So I, it is a pleasure to have you on. And uh, salute to Dread St. Mike. Dread St. Mike ain't here. But we ha also have a third person that's going to be doing these reviews with us. And our reviews will go as follow. We will have a 10-9 boxing point system. If you get smoked in a round, we can call that round a 10-8 round. And then at the end of it, we tally up the scores and we see who won the battle. And that is the dreaded truth. Bang! Uh, don't let me ask you. A lot of people, a lot of battle rappers especially, they don't like to hear the truth. They don't like to hear that round wasn't good or that ain't it. How do you feel about telling the truth and possibly getting some haters uh, now? Hey, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, as far as, as, far as uh, Premier right now, I mean... It seems that I haven't made a lot of friends when it comes to that department anyway, because I usually let people know how I feel. So, Okay, well, uh, Doe uh, Do is in the building. Salute to Doe. Benson's here. Do. We got a couple people uh, watching already. Salute Benson, too. That's the homie. Uh, once we review one of their battles, they might not be as nice to you, but we'll see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I never know. I don't know. But we're going to see how this goes. Uh, I got a couple. I'm just going to share this to the 413 Battle League page because the first battle we are going to review is uh, the Trap NY. Salute to the Trap NY, by the way. But uh, we are going to be uh, reviewing Dre Lights versus S. Dot that just dropped. Bang! Now, Dope, let me ask you before we get into the review on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate the battle as a whole? Um. I would rate it like about a six. Okay. And it's just because of uh, not not a lot of not a lot of like quotable content from both parties. And bang. I mean, when it comes down to the the whole breakdown, I mean, I guess you'll you'll see more or less why. I mean, I don't want to give it away beginning of the show, you know. <laughs> right. Facts. Yeah. So, uh, right, we're gonna do this review real quick of S dot versus Dre Lights. Uh, let's get that 10-point system up. I, I'm going to get the boxing ding-ding-ding sound effects, but I haven't gotten them yet. 
but I'm going to get it so we can when we get onto a round, we're gonna have the book. It's gonna be dope once we get this. No pun intended. It's gonna be crazy <laughs> once we get this. Uh, how we get once we get this going the way I really wanted to. But round one, S dot goes first. What were your thoughts about S dot's first round? Oh, uh, I, I believe S dot. He started off a little slow. You know, he had uh, a couple bars. Uh, it's crazy. I wrote them in my phone. I should have actually wrote them down on paper because I can't even leave the app like that. Hey, no problems. We just say just say what you got. But um, as far as quotables, I had him about maybe like there was, there was about three or four like good bars that he had. As far as I was hearing, um, I don't feel like he came with a lot of energy in the first, and mm-hmm. he wasn't he wasn't really trying to set the tone for somebody who was going first in the battle. Right. So I mean that 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 took away a little bit from the round, especially once Dre started spitting. I'm not gonna lie. When he first started, I thought he was going to be trash. Bang! I did. He started off all over the place. He started off with uh the streets ain't come with a handbook, but I knew the principal, Mr. Feeney. I was like, <laughs> didn't care for it. Didn't care for it. Then he went into a Kevin Hart scheme. Um. Oh wait, he started off with also. I thought I got out the trap, but look, I'm back in the trap. Then he said the street ain't come with a handbook, but I knew the principle. Then he went right into a Kevin Hart, Juman name, and all the Kevin Hart movies, and, oh, yeah, and know the how Jumanji to Jumanji scheme, yeah, yeah, yeah the Jumanji scheme. Yeah. To me, it was like, okay, like where would you? I I thought he was going to go somewhere with it. He ended up not going anywhere with it, so it put a bad taste in my mouth. And uh, go ahead. It had uh, it had a little bit of the Marv Marciano feel. It had like a lot of build up, but no punch, you know. Facts. Yeah. Uh. So and I and I and, and I'm not saying he was whack by any stretch of the imagination. He is definitely fire, but he did start off not good at all, in my opinion. Yeah. Um. As a matter of fact, he had a couple good moments in the first round, but honestly, I thought his first round was very beatable. He uh had a plankton bar. In 2018, he had a SpongeBob bar. Yeah. <laughs> in 2018, we, we can't have we, we can't have SpongeBob bars. Nah. I know, I know. Everybody remembers uh, Big T with the uh, uh, Squidward with the clarinet bar from uh, Arsenal, but we really can't have those type of bars anymore. So uh, he kind of lose point. He loses points for that. Um, I know the ch- Chum Bucket. He, he I know he tried to make it like into a hot bar, but come on. We can't have uh, SpongeBob bars anymore. Then uh, after that, he did say, "Little Dicky, you wouldn't hold a gun if you were in another man's body." Yeah, body, yeah, yeah. The, I the get bodies. it. Yep, I get it. It was from the uh, video that he had with Chris Brown, I believe. I, mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I'm not saying the bar was whack. It was cool. It was definitely better than a lot of some of the other stuff that he said. Uh, another bar that he said, Forrest Gump. It's still funny when I walk with a ratchet. Can we please? In 2018, 2019 is coming. Can we do away with the gun making me walk funny bars? I'm tired of them. I don't want to see anybody limping anymore when they have a bar or the gun so big in my hip it makes me do the hula. I don't want to hear none of that stuff no more. Well, uh, what are your thoughts about it? Uh, well, I mean, it's just about the originality to it. So, I mean, I, I'll hear it, but I mean, it got to be fire. Is it, is it possible to have? In 2018, an original bar with a gun in your hip or a gun making me walk funny bar? Is it is it possible? I mean I, I guess I guess it all depends on the angle, because I mean if you if you if you reach too much for it, it's it's not gonna land. And if it's not I mean if it's been said before, it's not gonna hit. It has to be something like nobody's expecting, I guess. Right, right. Really hit. Um, salute to, uh, salute to Gutter. Gutter says, what's going on? Uh, you got a couple people on here saying salute to you. So salute to you, dope. Uh, Gutter, I challenge you, Gutter. I, I challenge you, if you were saying yes to my question, to, to tell me a bar that is fire that has to do with someone walking funny because of a gun. A gun in the hip or a gun in the, that doesn't sound played oh, yeah, out. Here's, here's a perfect example. See? The okay. first time we ever heard it, we heard it from um from Chef Tress. Yep. Walking yeah. funny. You're like, when, he the, when he did the whole zombie with it. Yep. See, yep. See, after that, I thought it would lose its originality. 
But then you hear John John with the deuce in the boot, um, like that was that was fire. And then you hear um, I forgot who it was off off the top, but he said he had like the he he had like the deuce. Um, I'm walk funny or some shit because I'm used to it or whatever. Yeah. Like you see, like all of those, they they kept hitting back to back because each of them was I, I felt like just has had just as much substance, you know. Like sure, the shoddy in the in the pant leg walking like a zombie with it, that shit was fire. Then the deuce deuce, it was fire. I mean, like I don't feel like the angle has fully been killed. All right, I uh, uh, okay. I listen. I'll take your word for it. I'm tired of hearing them, but I mean, if they if you think it's still good, we we'll, we'll roll with it. Um, he had a reality TV scheme bar with like a American Idol, the four, whatever, and he ended it with the on the ground, a star on the ground, like Simon Cowell. He sounded like someone on their first battle. And S dot is, I don't want to say a seasoned veteran, but he's been doing this for a while. Indeed. That bar, he, some of these bars, he shouldn't, someone should have told him no. Um, one bar that he did have was fire, though. Uh, talk is cheap. How you gonna put me to sleep when you couldn't rock a baby? Yeah, that was fire. Got very one. fire. Got yep, he was talking about his battle against younger baby uh, that happened at the trap the previous event. Fire. So I definitely give him uh, p- points for that one. Uh, also, uh, salute to Hyde. Hyde said, "Who is the new guy?" <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Tell you me know, to put. That's right. Tell him put some respect on your name. Um, also, he had a haven't seen this many chick in a box since Orange was the new black. Bang! I liked it. I liked the punch. And then that was pretty much it for his first round. Then Dre went. Uh, what did you think about Dre? Dre lights round. I think I think Dre Dre lights. He started off very well because he just he basically showed the whole aspect of crowd control, man. I think that that's a, that's important in rounds. Like he he was he he didn't he didn't get off to such a fast start, but once he started, mm-hmm. he had the crowd, and he knew how to how to like keep the crowd with him. Facts. Um, you could hear his girl in the back cheering him on as yeah. a soldier should. She was doing her job. Um, let me say this. Um, Dre went a lot longer than Esta. And this is the theme of the entire battle. Dre went a lot longer, and he had low points as well, but he had more high points. And I think that had to do a little bit with the time constraint that Esta had as opposed to them letting Dre go. I think Dre just finished a couple minutes ago. So uh, do, you, do you think how, – so how did you handle it? Let me ask you. Uh, the, 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 you, you get a battle. Daft tells you that the battle's only three, two minute rounds. You wrap up to two minutes and then you, then the person you're going against is going on five minutes. What do you do? I mean, it all, it all really depends. Like, I mean, if it's a regular battle, I mean, I guess yep. it's, it's already prepped or whatever. I mean, spit, but I mean, if it's a money battle, that's on. It's really on you and the and the league. If the league's not stopping it, man, and it's your your earn, like hard earned money, hell yeah, bro. You stop that round. You tell them, ah, right, yeah, that's that's definitely time. Like, you feel me? Like, I don't know. For me, that's just how it would be. Because I mean, I couldn't picture myself being in in like an optics J two situation where J two spit up like for like twelve minutes. You know, compared to like optics, like three minutes that he was spinning. So do you do a uh, do you do a do you just call time? Yeah. All right. So um, I had the first round 10-9 for Dre Lights. Do you have it 10-9 or 10-8 for Dre Lights? I had it 10-9. Okay, so you thought Dre won, but it wasn't like a, a real – he didn't really hurt him too bad. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was, so, it was so bad in the first round. All right. Uh, what about round two? In round two, I'm going to be very honest. I had uh, – like, as the, I watched the, the round – like mm-hmm. a good three times just so I could see if I could get more quotables from S dot. I had I think like two or, or yeah like two or three. That, mm-hmm. that was about it. I mean I, I want to switch over to to like the notes that I had, but I know I'm gonna get like logged. I mean like yeah. yeah yeah. So you know what? This is the first time us doing this. 
And uh, this is not a five o'clock shadow show. This is like in the five o'clock shadow network. It's not a five o'clock shadow show. That's why you didn't know about it, Silva. If you want to do a five o'clock shadow show tomorrow so we could talk about the NBA card, you are more than welcome. Uh, to, I'll hit you up and let you know. And then we come on, me, you hide and do it. But this is like a completely different thing. We're going to, we are focusing on just reviewing battles. That's it. No, no other stuff. Just reviewing the battles. So, um, Round two, I honestly thought kind of was the same as round one. Uh, I thought S. Dot did better in round two. I still thought Dre edged it, and I thought Dre went grossly over the allotted time. And yeah, he did. Okay, it, so it was, it was for all three rounds. I've seen him going over. The facts. It it really was all three rounds. So um, you can make the case that the entire battle was 30-27 for Dre Lights. However, if I was Esta, I would definitely be calling foul for the time allotment. And next time, if I ever battle a Dre Lights or someone like that, um, I am going to definitely be calling time on my ops. Bang! I'm just going to yell time like like Big K. Just, just, it is what it is. Just letting me know at the beginning of the round, I got my own stopwatch. <laughs> Facts. That's Stopping it. it. No nope, cut. You're not going no more. We're not doing this. Yeah, All right. So uh that was Dre Lights versus S dot. Uh salute the trap NY for the drop. The battle actually dropped today. So we didn't really have as much time as I wanted to, to really get into it. But uh salute to them on that one. Um uh salute to Peso Peso said, appreciate y'all taking the time to review S dot versus Dre Lights. Uh, trap salute to trap and why and we definitely going to do some more trap videos uh we plan on reviewing all all battle leagues bar none we're going to try to do our best to review uh as many different battles as possible during the week uh you know salute to dope for being willing to take his time and watch him and come through with me and give our opinions let's jump all right let's jump quickly into um powder versus bosco I think we're going to disagree a little bit on this battle. I think, I think this is where we needed the balance at right here. Yeah, this is where we needed the balance because Bosco got smoked. Bang. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just playing. I'm playing. You didn't I get smoked. I about to say, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was, a, it was a good battle. It was a good Bosco versus, uh, Bosco versus Powder was a good battle. Let's just get right into it. Um... What are your it, thoughts about the audio? It definitely, um, like the audio, it was, I mean, it wasn't the best that Premiere has, you know, has done, but I mean, it still projected pretty well, um, especially for, for, um, for Powder, because, you know, he has that, that like horse voice a little, you know, like, yeah, you know, to, to, to like project is, is not that well, but, um, but hey, it was, it was a good battle. And, um, as far as as far as like the 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 content from both of them, I feel yep. like it, it was so much better on camera than it was in the building. Okay, okay, bang. Uh, scale of one to ten, what do you give the battle? I give I definitely give it like a seven seven point five. It was okay. It was because it was like they they both had bars and I like Powder's um like slogan. That shit was pretty dope. Okay, um, round one. What are your thoughts on? Give me, give me your thoughts on round one. First on Powder, then on a Bosco. Round one, Powder, Powder definitely set the tone fast. Like I like, I like Powder's round. Um, he came with. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying to think off the top of of a couple of the bars he had, but um, he he was he was fired. Like he he came straight at him. Yep. I'm trying. I'm just a little. Yeah, yeah, nah, he 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 was fired though. Okay, um, what did you think about Bosco in the first round? Bosco, <laughs> you know, Bosco definitely definitely chose uh, like a good starter because you know that's the whole controversy with the little view fairy or whatever. But um, <laughs> I feel like he he started he started it at a smart point. Nah, good. He drew everybody in with that with that whole pay per view thing and yep 
and he he just he just kept delivering. Like I like the whole drug bar with, with all the whatever pins and yeah, the go to sleep like uh, Trazodone or something like that. Yeah, yep. yeah. And he had a he had, he had a couple bars in there. And um, I think that was that was actually one of the, one of the closest rounds in the whole battle. Okay, that one could have went either way. Huh? I thought the second round was the closest round in the battle, and uh, I thought, well, yeah, you you could make a case for this being the closest round too. So, uh, Powder and Bosco, I thought both did great the first round. I did give the first round to Powder because Powder had. The A Different World Scheme, and he named Kadeem Hardison, Jasmine Guy, Lisa Bonet. He named the stars of it and incorporated them into his round. It's the way a scheme is supposed to be incorporated. I thought he wrote that masterfully. There's such, such a thing as a punch, and then there's such a thing as like a cheap heat bar. Now, a cheap heat bar to me would be like a bar that like if you were OT, you would say something like, like, let's say a, a battler, a, a famous battler came to uh, premiere and he used the Boston Red Sox bar just to get the crowd to go crazy. The bar don't even have to be that good. Just from mentioning the Boston Red Sox, he gets the he get he gets a, a room shaker for it. To me, that's like a cheap heat bar. So Bosco's pay-per-view bar. I, I kind of thought it was okay. I thought he caught I thought he could have used it better. This is what he did that kind of took away points for me. He said, you guys really are pay-per-view. So I was like, okay, all right, we, we getting it right now, right? Because I laugh at it now. I don't care. I laugh at it. Then he said, uh, he tried to do like a conceited thing where he's like, slow it down. I just dished you. Uh, you really buy, you really get pay-per-views. So usually when conceited does a slow it down, I just dished you, he takes the same thing and then brings a complete new meaning to it. Bosco just said slow it down and then said the exact same thing he didn't yeah. change the meaning of it at all i think it's because he he like signaled out each of the words like pay-per-view like it should have just been like a pay-per-view you know like right like main events like he, he should have pointed out more more main event in the in the first bar um as far as the pay-per-view so that he had the whole switch in it right um, I, I, I get what you're saying there right if he would have said like on paper views like oh it is bosco versus powder on paper views and then and then said slow it down i just dissed you when it comes to rainmakers they're all pay-per-view or something like that it would have been more fire but he kind of said like he just said this repeated himself and every i know mummy bars was going crazy bang mummy bars was, i heard ya. <laughs> y'all was, we were, y'all was we going were nuts I don't know. Bang! I thought, I thought uh, it was fire. I thought it was fire. Yeah, fire. no, it definitely it definitely is. Even when Powder battled me, he said, "You know, you get a cut on your face. That's a five o'clock shadow," and everybody went nuts. It, it's like okay, it's almost like if you were battling Charlie Clips, you would say something about his father being a snitch. Uh, it, it's like the same thing that every battler used, and eventually it gets old. I don't know. I think there's still creative ways to use it against Rainmakers right now. This is me being an analyst, but it is what it is. So, how did you score the first round? Uh, I gave the first round to Bosco, 10-9. All right. 10-9, Bosco. I gave the first round to Powder. 10-9, Powder. All right, round two. What did you think? Round two is when is where like I felt like Bosco was really talking. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Powder Powder started very well, and he, he kept he kept the crowd going. Um, that's that's that was the um, the bar he had after the New Hampshire shit. Um, fuck, I, I tell you, I should have I should have wrote this on paper instead of in my notes. Hey, don't worry about it. We're going to. So this is the first episode. We're going to definitely tighten things up and get better at it. No worries. No, don't don't stress it. But yeah, you were there in the building. We couldn't go in and out the app. So. OK, yeah, no worries. Just just go off off the top. So let me I'll I'll I'll, let, I'll remind you of some of the things that were said in the round in in the, the second round. The second round powder kind of went on the I'm from New Hampshire and he was getting the crowd. And honestly, some of that I would call cheap eat. Like saying I'm from New Hampshire to get the crowd on his side instead of like a real room shaker where it was because he said something really fire. 
And listen, they loved him that second round. Here's what Bosco did in the second round that made me give the round to Bosco. He dissed all the Rainmakers creatively. He said, you're about 60. He said, he said Saint, you're about, you're, you're about, you're the best in Rainmakers and you're about a 60% rapper. And the other one that looks like you is about 40% or something like that. And uh, then he said, truth it is like Charlemagne the God, the God, but I wouldn't call it breakfast club because truth it ate it. Like he was really going in, in that round. Uh, I I, that. Yeah, I thought Bosco won round two clear. To me, that was the clearest round in the battle. I That's thought Bosco I won the first round was the closest to me. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, true. You were right. You're right. Um, so I had that 10 9. Um, the second round. So the first round I had, uh, let's I'm writing this down right now. I had it nine uh, Bosco, 10 powder, round two. I had 10 Bosco, nine powder. Uh, you have it. Do you have it the same? You have the first two uh, rounds yeah, to Bosco? Nine. Okay. Uh, so you have it 2018. Uh, Bosco going into the third. I have it uh, 1919 going into the third round, which means we need definitely need uh, for, for uh, Powder to win the battle. He needs a 10-8 round or to tie it at least. I think it's 1-1 going into the third. What did you think about the third round? The third round was... I think the third round, yeah, the third round was where it was where the battle really got like not not like slow for me. Mm -hmm. it, it didn't. It wasn't. It wasn't so like punch heavy anymore. So I mean, um, the third round. I'm sorry. I need. Yeah, I should. I should have wrote all these notes down. But um, I had pow powder started off well in the in the third round too. Yep. yep. And um, one of his schemes in there, it just it had me. Cause I hadn't even told him after the, after the battle. Okay. Well, uh, salute Nikki. I'll, I'll, I'll write them in the chat. Okay. Of this, so so he could he could get the the memo of what I was talking about. But I had I had he had, he had some fire to start the third, and I feel like that was um Bosco's slowest round for me. Okay. Um. So you thought Powder won the third round. Uh, I mean, I don't want to say, I don't want to say that's, I mean, I, I feel like the round was debatable. Okay. So are you saying it's a 10, 10? Yeah, I'll, I'll give that one. A, I'll give that one a 10, 10 if I had to, because I, I don't really feel like Bosco did so much in that round. And I don't feel like, um, like, uh, like powder did bad. Powder did well. Well, uh, uh, this I watched it a couple times. The first time I watched it, I thought pa I thought Bosco got the third round clearly. I even messaged uh, a couple of rainmakers and was like, "Man, I don't know how I'm gonna come on the show and say that uh, Powder lost. It's gonna be tough." And uh, you know, I went back and watched it again. Went bar for bar. I thought um, the third round is a toss up as well. It could be ten. To it could be. Um, I could have it. Uh, if someone said they thought Bosco won it, I wouldn't argue with them. If someone thought that they uh, that Powder won it, I wouldn't argue with them either. I think the third round was that close. So for me, having it a draw and you having it for Bosco, you have to give the battle to Bosco. Bang! Bosco and Dre Lights are the winners had, of the battle review. I actually had it 30 in the building. But that's just off like the hype that was going on in the building. So I'm glad right. I got to see it on tape or whatever. Yeah. I mean, like I said, like I said, the first round, the first round was was for me the most competitive round. Right. As far as like going back and forth, because mm -hmm. Powder started off well and Bosco followed well. The second round it was really Bosco, and then it's like the third round. It could it could have been a toss up in most people's eyes. I yep. in the building I had Bosco. I had Basel decisively on camera. I mean, I, I could give them the split on that. So Okay. Yeah, I was definitely uh, going to give the first round to Bosco. If Bosco did, if he would have used the paper, because the pay-per-view, in my opinion, was the biggest punch of his in round one. And he 
like he he said it like he said pay per view three times in the first round and didn't change or make it creative at all. And that's what kind of hurt the first round for me for him. Meanwhile, I thought Bosco using the a different world. I mean, uh, Powder using the a different world scheme uh, made it dope. Uh, made gave him the first round, and uh, that's just it is what it is. Well, it was a it was a good battle, and uh, the replay values there. So, absolutely, I, I, I see that one getting the views. Uh, what about um the re- what about the Dre lights and S dot battle? How do you feel the replay value on that? Shit, well, that one's already well, it's doing views. I mean, I feel like maybe if uh, Dre lights would have went first, it would have probably like been a more um a, a higher um viewed battle, but. I don't know. Maybe maybe people like the way S dot starts his round or whatever. But uh-huh. as far as as far as the names go, the names are probably going to get the views. You know, they're going to go in there because they're going to see Dre lights against S dot. And I mean, I, I guess they're they're going to be expecting a little more from from S dot because it could have been it could have been a better battle if S dot would have fought back. But there wasn't a lot of fight. All right. Lastly, before I let you go, uh, you are. Um, you are okay. Let's say S dot is a part of um mummy bars. What advice would you give him going into his next battle? You got you got to pre- prepare a little more. I feel like in the first, I feel like he may have deviated a little from some of his his material and that have tried to like uh, freestyle it because. I mean, a lot of it wasn't hitting. I don't think he he planned for it to go that way, or he wrote it like that. Maybe he did, but I mean, I just felt like that it, it really wasn't hitting. So I mean, as far as I go, I would just tell him like you just you definitely need to prepare more. And um, I, I guess next time, just have a little more, just in case this does happen again, where an opponent decides to to like to exceed the time limit. Just have a little more prepared for um, for yourself, I guess. I mean, stretch your rounds a little more, maybe, but. All right, what about for uh, – you had Powder losing, so what about Powder? Um, powder? Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I guess it's a little more preparation because Powder, as far as projection and, and memorizing and, mm-hmm. and performance, he, he was there. It's just, I mean, I guess get a little more bar heavy. So he's in the comments, and he said that uh, we were sleeping on some of the bars we need to – Listen again. I'm going to go watch it again. Yeah, that's, and that's why I wanted the notes because I, I I feel like I didn't get to to mention enough of his bars because he was fired too. Yep. Yeah. So we so, hey, don't worry about it. So uh, Wednesday we're gonna do another review show. If you are out there and there's a certain battle you want us to review, you can hit dope up or you can hit me up on messenger or on Facebook and say, Hey, listen, if you guys got time, can you review the battles? And if we have enough time, we'll throw it in our Wednesday show. If not, we'll get to it on our Friday show, but we plan on God willing Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays at 10 PM to do the show. Hopefully we'll at eight, we'll do a five o'clock shadow before then. So then we can just go from the five o'clock shadow uh, talking battle rap right into the reviews. So uh, it's your boy Truth. This is the dreaded truth. I am here with my co-host Dope. Dope, thank you so much for taking the job. Yo, you already know, bro. All right, hit us up if y'all got a battle that y'all want us to review from any league, even if it's URL, KOTD, whatever. We'll review it. It's your boy Truth. I'll holla. Peace out. <laughs>